gallon tank that I told you in the last video that I picked up. I took down the 75 gallon tank and stand that I built in previous videos. Um, my daughter had bought me a gift certificate for Capital Land Coral and I went up to buy a piece of coral for the saltwater tank and the owner there had a couple tanks for sale, this being one of them. He sold to me for a hundred bucks, couldn't refuse it. Um, told me it was a 125 gallon tank until I got 125 gallons of water in there and still had a ways to go. Um, so I got that, I added some fish, got some Mbuna. I did get the um, dolphin that I've been wanting and there's still a few more on the list that I want to get and we're still shopping for those. Um, I added some plants up top with a grow light um, which that's, I'm going to show you how I did that in this video here. That's what this video is being made for. But um, yeah, at the end of the video I'm going to throw in some pictures of fish that I do have in there and I know the names to most of them, well some of them. But uh, maybe you guys can help me with the rest. But uh, here we go. Let me show you how I did the planting. So here's the new 150 gallon. It's been doing great. We added a bunch of fish. Got some mbuna in there. Haps. Peacocks. A little bit of everything. But with all these fish, nitrates start to get high. So I have a little plan. Take these little planters here, take all the soil out, put some filter floss in the bottom of it, wrapped around the roots with some pea stone on top. Cut them down into the crating and have the bottom sit in the water to help with nitrates. I'm not sure this is going to work, but I figured I'd give it a shot. So this plant is called Galaxy False Aurelia. Not sure if it's great for growing in water. Well, or obviously but fish tanks but um, we're gonna knock all the soil off put some polyfill around it put some pea stone on top and then we'll cut it into the grating and put it into the tank We're just going to cut a little square hole here where the planter can slip right down in. So the hole was cut, it's a three by three square. Like this, slip it down in, just until the bottom. Touches down in the water. So the next two are going to be a peperomia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Nice little plant. I thought this thing here was beautiful. A lot of detail. And this is a su Superba Pitonia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right, but that's what they look like anyway. <clears throat> get these ones cleaned up and get them in the tank.
again, you just slip them down in there. Until the bottom's touched. See it back there, the light's kind of blinding you. So far we got six in there. Got three more to go down there. I'll do those ones off camera and then get back with you guys and show you how everything's coming together here. all finished up went over to Home Depot and got a 46 inch grow light you got to figure out the settings on it but I think this is gonna help with nitrates looks pretty cool too I'm gonna take some nitrate tests over the next few days and see if they're going up down or what they're doing Like I said earlier in the video, I know what some of these fish are, but there's also quite a few that I don't. There's a total of 20 cichlids altogether. I put a number by each one of them. Maybe in the comments you guys can just add in what you think they are or know they are, and maybe a little bit of advice about each one.
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And give some input in the comments on the cichlids. Thanks.